connector. See if that's fixed it. Let's see if that's fixed it, shall we? Uh, let's try again. Oh, come on, iPad. That sounds like I've got sand. That sounds like I've got sand. This is what I could do with Mr. Helgi here right at the start of the streams. Because then he can tell me exactly what is working and what isn't working properly. <laughs> Rather than me be sat here for... See what he's been live for offline, apparently. Not offline. It just it just worries me every time that Nvidia fucking thing pops up on the screen. It's it I, uh, that seems to be messing with everything in my game. There we are, folks. We've got sound now. Sound is working. Everyone can hear me. Um, I'm not going to be able to rehash everything I've said for the last hour. Um, unfortunately. But yes, we've got um, a new mulcher. I uploaded some new mods. We've got a fertilizer, prop, a proper fertilizer spreader. Separate from the lime spreader now. Now well, everybody should be happy. Yes, I've basically got these two fields to mulch. And I'll probably do a bit of seeding, maybe. I mean, I wouldn't mind having a go at those potato contracts, harvesting contracts. Possibly. Sound is back. Yeah, I fixed the sound. I fixed the sound. However, it now says I've only been live for four minutes and 52 seconds. Oh, well. Oh, well. We'll forget the previous hour where I've been completely in silence the whole time and had no sound. I have no audio. I didn't realise the audio was broken because, again, all the sound meters are going. All the sound meters were bouncing around, but 
some it's, it seems to be a bit of a weird glitch with OBS sometimes that although the the, the sound bars are moving it's not actually capturing and transmitting any sound so I have to close it down and reopen it which means I have to stop the stream close the software reopen the software and start streaming again I don't know why it does that Mr Helgi's on Discord by the way very nice glad to hear you're on Discord you may notice I am not wearing any headphones so unless you've developed the power of telepathy and can communicate directly with my mind, <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> I, no, I'll, I'll put my headphones on in a minute. I just figured as I had the luxury of being by myself this morning, um, I wasn't going to um, hurt my head and my ears by wearing headphones all day. <laughs> so it gives me a nice bit of freedom to let my ears breathe. This guy's bought. exemption so what we should be finding now is this should be getting all mulchified oh it's already been mulched oh you I'm wasting me time then innit Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Helgi has not told me he mulched these fields. <laughs> oh, perhaps that, that's the first thing he probably could have said to me in the chat was, I've already done that. Could have been harvesting potatoes now. I thought I had to, do, or I could have been seeding. Oh well. Oh well. I can uh, rest comfortably in the in the sacred knowledge that at least the next time we need to mulch anything, I'm going to have a pretty decent mulcher. I am going to join the Discord. I was going to wait until you'd finished phone calling, though, Mr. Helgi. and maximise and ensure I have your uh, full attention. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Done my call. Right, so it turns yeah, out... No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to download all this stuff. It turns out I don't need to do mulching because Mr. Helgi's already mulched those fields. What? Those fields that I was mulching, you've already mulched them, so I was wasting my time. And I've been wasting my time all freaking morning! The two fields I mulched, yeah. <clears throat> and I fertilized as well. Like Vernland. Is you? And my cedar direct. Can I would. I would like that. Why, why do, do the mods not sort by date yeah, on this freaking page on the server? I don't know. 
They don't even sort they alphabetical. Don't even sort by alphabetical. <laughs> they don't even sort alphabetical, which would be even more helpful. If not so by don't. I don't know what the sorting is. Well, they might. No, they might sort in no, Maybe just by size. <laughs> no, not even that. I don't know. Okay, Querland. I hope it was the right Querland. Geos Pratt. And probably DG2 was also, is also new. No? no, DG2 we've had before. That was the Cedar that we used on the last map. The new mods should be the Universal Tank Pack from no, no, Ellison. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When in, in, because you're reading them, then it's easier for me to find. Um, okay, that was the DG2 wasn't, so I'll delete that again. Good. Then, uh, so what, what What are the new now? Universal Tank Pack? Yeah. Stink. Then? Uh, I, otherwise, I, I'm, I'm switching back to my lock steering axles. Mouse. Is new. Is he? Where is it? Steering axles. Lock steering axle. There it is. It was New Holland. Is that new? No. Nope. More uh, production possible. Uh, Luke's new mod will be... Uh, More production possible. Model Aisha. That is quite kind. New German mod is the, uh, SETI, the SETI Multiplat S9. SETI? SEPI? Yeah. Black Eyes modding. And then I think it might be Hyper Hive. Um, according to my login, Universal, Lock Steering, SEPI Multiplayer, and Quernland is everything, nothing else. You might have had Hyper Hive before then. That's not there in the list. Hyper what? Hyper Hive. Hyper Hive, yeah. Maybe because it's... You've trans. already got it probably, I would think. You've probably already got it installed then. We may have had it on the server already. Yeah. I wasn't sure because when I was uploading the mods, I got a... Um, this mod is corrupted message. So I was like, oh. And I couldn't remember which mods I'd uploaded and which ones. So I had to... Upload them all again. Yeah, Hyperhive is there. One point zero zero zero. Good. Back out. Quit the game. Move the mods and Do we need pro mods? Pro mods. Nope. I downloaded pro mods. But it doesn't help. Mm. I would like auto drive. Yeah, the, the 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 thing with the contract we need to talk about. Straw couldn't be collected. I'm guessing because we both logged out of the game and then the server restarted at midnight, which okay. basically breaks it then. You have to. It should be possible. It should be possible, yeah. Okay. And you probably want to collect the straw while the contract is still active, rather than saying completed. As well, I'm guessing, because hmm. once it's gone to completed, then it's basically finished. Um. So I guess really before you deliver the last of the crop or do the last of the act like the last bit of harvesting it probably pays to um collect the straw in that in those types of situations Let's see what I do. first 
fertilizing, so I bought fertilizer. I ran around to collect some collectibles, ran into the cave and stuff. It's quickly seeding some grass. Some are quite difficult to find, even if you know where they are. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Uh, there was there was one indicated at a, a rocky hill, and I couldn't find it. Sometimes you glitch into the rocks. There's one sitting on top of a rocky hill. There's um, one sitting near a rocky hill. And then a couple of others. I'm walking out of the house and I'm getting sp spawned back into the house. Yeah, I had that this morning. It was like rubber banding me back to the house yeah. all the time. Yeah. So I ended up having to tab to a vehicle to break the uh, break the connections. Somebody disturbed the silage beds. Yeah, I accidentally drove into them. I wasn't looking forward at the time. I think once they're fully yeah. fermented I'll just chuck them in the silo. A bit. Yeah, placed a little bit in a awkward space. And can you put them in the silo? I think you can put the bales in the silo but I think you have to wait for them to be silage first, yeah. And then they'll go into the silo and then they'll just be loose silage after that. Convenient. Ninety six per cent there. Yeah, you if you uh, if you have time then you can do the potato contract. I was thinking about that. Really? Yeah. Because they do give us the decent harvester. Yes, they do. In the big field head. Was In fact, both contracts, contracts give us decent there. harvesters, don't they? Yep. The one only costs a quarter of the other. We both go to farmer's market. What's the farmer's market? So we tackle it? Yeah, I'm up for doing some potatoes. Like I say, I just thought I had loads of stuff I mean, to do I on our fields one. first. Yeah. I only borrowed one again. You only borrowed one, so... How am well, I going to harvest then? How am I going to harvest then if you've only got one harvester? You want to buy one? No, I don't want to buy a harvester. I thought we'd have borrowed both. Well, that was a miscommunication then. So borrowed, now there's only I one person that can one. do the contracts. <laughs> uh, can you reset it or no? I guess that's Mr. Helgi's way of saying, Oi, you monkey boy, you can be grain cart driver. <laughs> <laughs> If he only borrows one yeah, harvester, I've got to do the grain cart driving. You can swap in the middle. Yeah. 
Well, let me quickly roll this field of grass and then I'll come across and join you. I guess you've only got one trailer over there as well, so I'm probably bringing my own trailer with me as well. Our big trailer. And then whilst he's up, whilst one guy won't send the AI off to deliver to the farmer's market. And then we've got another trailer at the field to keep on loading into. Pudding lad. Dreambeam, 2K7, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. So which field have you gone to first? Ten. Ten. Um, well, what I'll do then is not drive into there because I can't get out of there if I drive into there because there's only the stone picker there. I keep thinking there's a road leading to the main road and it's not. Another dream being 2k7. Thank you for the follow. Oh, is this follow spam? I mean, you you could buy the another harvester. It's only six hundred thousand bucks. Hello. Can I steer? Thank you. Okay, that's weird. I'm just giving you a tiny little trailer. Well, you could borrow a harvester, why not? Because that would be way be more expensive than if you'd than have borrowed it for the contract. contract. Yeah. Well, it's alright. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just remember that in future. I'll just... I'll remember your game. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Helgi's sneakiness. Hmm. Saved us money. Oh. It takes just five minutes to do that job. Not worth having a second one. Quick spin a rooney.
Nice bit of rolling. One thing I'm a little torn on in, on in this game is the rolling. The fact that you've only got, at the moment, the choice of two rollers in the game. You've got this one, and then you've got the absolutely mahoosive one. The mahoosive one will be far more useful for rolling the fields than this one. But the mahoosive one has the problem that you can't raise it up it's once you unfold it it's it's in contact with the ground so if you you're on fields like ours which are fairly close to one another you'd end up driving all over the wrong fields with it when you're yeah. turning around and stuff and then you'd end up causing massive amounts of destructions so i was having a bit of a play with the massive half uh, roller yesterday and i was like yeah it, it's it's good it definitely makes rolling a lot flipping quicker, but only if you've got the right fields and the right space between the fields. <laughs> Otherwise, there's too much potential for overlap and accidents. So you have a... you bought a different mulcher? Yeah. What is the difference? It's wider. And it's a bit faster than the other one. However, it's a little bit more awkward because there's a bit that goes on the front of the tractor and there's a bit that goes on the back. It's a bit like a mower in that sense. There's a front bit and then there's the rear bit. It's not one single machine, which is a little bit of a pity. And you can't... You but, unloading if you want to do it. Okie dokie, I'll be there. I've got one last row to do. And then I can be over there. You can put the you can put the little unit of the mulcher on the actual back of the mulcher, so you're towing the mulcher behind the tractor. However, the unit don't, doesn't like raise and lower as one; it's like two separate bits. Um, so unless you've got a fancy button mapped on your con controller to raise and lower all tools at the same time. Um, right, where is he? Where's his nearest potato wagon? Behind you. He's behind me. Wow, this tracks trailer's parked well. Who parked this trailer? Somebody's driven down the middle of the field. Look, look at all that crop destruction. I've got a sneaky feeling you're probably going to fill a trailer with one on load, aren't you? No. You must be at least 20,000 litre capacity, surely. Maybe 25? I didn't check. <clears throat> it's 22.5. So you filled me just under half. Just under half full. Everything's mulchy mulch. Why is it lagging? Lagging because it can. Fertilizing. I've only got field three. 
succeeded. Field one now, of course. So we are going to be able to plant some stuff. So fields 11 and 9 are going to need to be cultivated. Although I think we can direct drill, can't we, with our seeder? So we might just be able to seed fields 11 and 9 straight away again. Was what? Well, we can plant wheat and barley now. Wheat and barley. Interesting way of harvesting. He's starting in the middle of the field and working out. <laughs> I just made this row wide enough that you can unload on this side. You want to drive by? Or? No, I'll let you start harvesting and, and then I'll that, I'll come I along. Would, I would I would do it a little bit different if I if I was not doing a contract uh, because this is unfortunately crop destruction here. Hardly. And it's at this point in the video we put a cut and we have the 10 hours later. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Five minutes later. <laughs> Five minutes later. <laughs> yeah. You want to Yeah, I want to do this field horizontally, then the other bit vertically.
fun if you want to do it. Just have to create a little headland here. Oh wait, this is going to be Farmer's Market, isn't it? Johnson's Farmer's Market. Is that correct? Yep. All right. You want to go by or? I have to flip, forgot to switch on the harvester. We have a lovely English weather here. It's raining. <laughs> oh, we've got a lovely sunny day. Here in the UK, it's a lovely day. Lovely blue sky, not a cloud in it. Not cold. It's grey. It's like summer. Is it cold or is it warm? No, it's warm. I've already been out. Today, I've already been to town this morning to do the shopping. Um, yeah, it was lovely. Like summer. It's like harvesting in slow motion. Why didn't we rent two harvesters? I don't know. Would have made more sense. <laughs> Not sure. Maybe my brain was absent. It was definitely not available. And at some point he'll realise he's harvesting the wrong way around the field. Because <laughs> the pipe's on the other side. There we go. Now he's no, turned I, around. I, 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 wanted, I wanted to do the headland thing. Now he's turned around. It's quite high. Okay. Yeah, plenty of clearance. Plenty of room. Nice and safe <laughs> unloading.
We have, we have done 6% of field 10 contract and 1% of the other contract. <laughs> I think that tree has to be cut. Yeah. That tree's gonna have to be cut down. Have you delivered potatoes to the farmer's market on that or? I sent the first trailer off. I don't know if he got there. I'm going to have a look for him in a minute. He's coming back. Then. He's already coming back. He's back. <laughs> he's trying through the field. And now he's getting blocked by me. Yeah? He's blocked by an object, yeah, of course. Stopped manually. Off he goes. Bye bye. Damn, this trailer's already thirty percent full. <laughs> he's gonna have to go and empty after he's done this next row as well. Hit that tree again. That's twice that tree is going to need to be cut down now. 
Oh, it's definitely too close to the field. Or vice versa. And turn KPH if you want to set it. No, because then that will mess with the um, AI when he goes to sell the um, potatoes. He'll only drive at 10 KPH. If I set the adjust the cruise control, should have checked on the other machine actually what the cruise control was already set to on the other tractor. I hope I haven't fiddled with any of them. <laughs> I'd hate to, for him to be driving all the way to the farmer's market at 20 kph or something. Uh, the uh, the other the other mod, the uh, auto drive, seemed pretty good to to handle. Huh? I, I watched your video and to have to straighten up some lines on the on the on the road. Yeah, it's very easy to do. You just right click on the you just right click with the mouse on the dots and you can drag them around. So yeah, to straighten up the dots is very easy. Okay. And if you want to, you can actually delete some of the dots and then just have and then rejoin the Straight lines. Right, yeah. Rejoin the lines together and have just long lines then. That might be much easier. Yeah. Less dots, less points. Especially when you're on a straight road, I mean. Yeah, been having a bit of a play with it. Took it a bit further on the um the Elm Creek map. Because I set up courses to go to the shop, to go to the fuel station. So the auto drive can be quite happy to drive but about. I mean, if you if you have a lot, uh, if you have a tri trail on the road, you you don't have to redo it. You just connect to that piece of road, right? Yeah, but and I've on boat on on. on off. But on my maps, I chose not to in, import the um, existing road network, so I'm I'm creating all my own routes even on the main the roads okay. i'm making my own routes i haven't loaded the default ones auto drive can load the default ones but then there's lines and routes everywhere and i was finding that to be very confusing especially as i'm trying to learn the mod so i was like let's start with the map with no lines and routes on it and then i'll just put my the routes and lines on it that i want and then once I've got it, you can still interchange them or interconnect them. Yeah. So once I've once I've once I've grasped grasp the basics, then I will probably allow Auto Drive to load the maps, road network. And then I just have to connect into that then on all the maps. Providing other maps, of course, have a road Can network. You lag again? What is it? What are you downloading? Nice what are you downloading? <laughs> what are you uploading? So it was not on your side. No. Nope. Didn't go there. Target is on Rachel. Well, he's delivered. Yeah, can't find the way out. Can't find his way back to the field. I mean, YouTube, oh, crap. Steam shouldn't download anything. Let's set it to not to download anything when I'm playing. Who's driving where? Not this guy. I was a bit frustrated this morning with X4 when I played it. 
Why can't this guy find his way back? The other one did, right? Yeah. Dude, what's your problem? Just, just fucking drive to where I'm telling you to drive to. I'm not asking you to do anything crazy. I mean, that will... Because he's searching for this world all the time. That with... With the auto drive, that is not the case. I mean, it's a predefined track. It's like a railroad system. Oh, he's on his way. Yeah, that's the thing. At least with auto drive, you can actually put in tracks. So even where there is no tracks around the field, you can put tracks around the field that he will then be able to recognise and drive to. Which would make him a lot more better. <laughs> which would make the, 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 the tractors much better. It seems like these tractors seem to only want to be able to drive where there's roads. And that's not really the point of tractors. Tractors drive on fields. So yeah. if the AI can't drive on fields, then he's not really doing a very good job. And that's me full. So see, now, now that you program it again, it has to learn that again yeah i mean where in auto drive you already predefined this this route yeah go from field a to some certain position and from there you can find the uh the, the cell points yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, with auto auto drive. As, as long as there is an auto drive uh, road to that cell point yeah, from a certain point on, yeah. So you can have eventually uh, roads or trips from any field yeah, off the map. Lunch time! Not that we have a server to break down in half an hour. Huh? Oh, server restart. Nope. The worker bee. <laughs> the worker bee. Like the killer bee in Kill Bill. <laughs> How much is a Ropa potato harvester? Is, is it, do we have one on the server? We should have. Because when you select, uh, when you select potato harvesters, it's only showing this one. 
375,000. So it's cheaper. For the Panther 2, which is the smaller one. Not the Tiger 6, it's the smaller one. What is the width of the... Um... It is four meters. So it's wider than this one. But you have to buy the header as well. Yeah. All the field? Maybe we should invest in one because that takes forever. Take a loan. Get the machine done. And then you can start harvesting, harvesting. Harvesting, harvesting. Harvesting. A short lunch break in a few minutes and then I have to do an errand and then I will be back or this evening whatever. Unless you want to do all afternoon. Oops. No, my plan was to do a morning stream up until about lunchtime today, just to get a few hours in, and then I was going to go and record some Let's Play stuff this afternoon, because what I expect to happen is, because I've been up early this morning, because I was already at the supermarket at 7am doing the, the groceries, I imagine by the time I sit down to have my dinner at six o'clock, I'm going to be falling asleep in my dinner. So I didn't want to have another, a second day in a row where I didn't get on the server and do something. I didn't want Mr. Helgi thinking, oh, I'd abandoned him. Yeah, I had some issues yeah, where I had some rubber banding with my tractor, the, uh, the, the uh, contract tractor rubber bending to the trailer yeah? mm. and then that didn't look like it had unloaded the the oat but when I came back on later on the server it unlo it had unloaded into the silo yeah. Yeah, you can unload me if you want to. Because I will leave it here. I have to have my lunch now. Okay. Because we are an hour ahead. And I'll maybe catch you this evening. Okie dokie. Here we go. Nice little harvest. Harvest. I mean, to have a second harvest, that only makes sense if you are the two together. Yeah, so there's no point in getting another harvester now. <laughs> yeah. See you, bye. Bye-bye, Mr. Helgi.
So he's back and he's parked there. Keep that in mind then. Fifty percent full. Someone's angle grinding somewhere.
don't know if that guy's going to auto drive off, is he? He should do. He's waiting to reach a certain fill level. Yeah, I wonder if he'd borrowed the equipment, if we'd borrowed the equipment from the other field, would we have been given a bigger trailer and tractor than that massive Ferguson? Quite possibly. Let me just uh, remember to now... Someone keeps ringing the phone. Answer the bloody phone. The reason why I'm saying to people answer the phone if it's ringing is because I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to have a medical phone call today or not. Because it, it's the 4th of Jan. So, I can't remember if I'm supposed to have a uh, speech and language appointment today or whether it's next week. I know I've got pain management next Tuesday of an appointment, but that's early in the morning. check in a bit see if um, that guy will drive off once he's 100% full PS is locked on Dude, the dude who makes the GPS mod has to fix that bug at some point. Has to. It was in FS19, man. So, you really should probably look to fix it in FS22. Wopster. checked how the other two drivers are doing ok 
Okay, I need to do a bit of rolling. I need to do a bit of rolling down the edge of a field. Right, that's rolled. Now what we'll do is we'll start in on from field 13. There we go. And he's happily seeding still. This guy's happily harvesting. Cedar's going to run out of seed though. That's the only bad thing. Eighty one per cent. Eighty 
So we'll see in a minute if this guy will actually drive off once he's fully fully loaded. Well, that's a learner, because that means he does go, and um, ladies and gentlemen, he does drive off automatically once he's full. So yeah, once he's full, he will drive off automatically. So if you're playing by yourself, you just need to set him up somewhere that he can actually drive back to. And he will actually loop round. The problem will be once you get close to when he can't return to a point in the field, you know? I'm wondering if I could have this guy come back. Uh, 
So, I don't know, this spot, for example. We come here. Farmer's Market. Dude's nearly out of seed. The trailer hasn't returned yet. I'm just going to stop him because I know he's going to catch up. Missed the cedar at some point. But he's gonna swing round. Um, I'll let the um the cedar carry on seeding. Fifty odd percent full. Trailer's back.
This dude's annoying the hell out of me. Why won't he drive back? I need to fill this. This is going to be a grass field, so we won't damage it when we drive across it. fertilizer by the looks of things. Today. It's Tuesday. Yeah, but not open Tuesdays. Fridays, Mondays, Saturday, Sunday. I come five days a week, are they? No tips. Put your rubbish out for the bin men tomorrow. finish off the uh, barley we can then start matey boy doing his um, rolling again I can then carry on with me um, potatoes for a little bit
leave that field until we've got something else to plant. It's also not worth um, planting oilseed radish with this machine whilst it's got fertiliser in it. Defeats the purpose. <laughs> Defeats the point of oilseed radish. Because it's putting fertiliser in as it's seeding. You don't want it to do that, so... Rollage. Right. He's found his way to there. All right. I'm going to take him, put him back at the farm. For some reason, he he will not navigate to where he's supposed to actually go. So he can come back to the farm. We need to find which trailer. What is the biggest trailer that the AI will work with? That's what we need to know. What is the biggest trailer that the AI will work with and will deliver to the destinations and drive back from? You know? Right, I'm going to fill this guy up in a second. He'll drive off now, look. See, he's working fine then. Why's the other fella? I don't understand why the other fella can't do the job. Maybe it's something with our trait. Maybe it's... I don't know. I'm not going to speculate why it won't do it with our trailer. It's 
it's just farms him being farms him for the sake of being farms him I think stupid trees hey what I'm gonna go on a tree tree murdering rampage soon um. on this map cut down all the trees on the whole map I'll be like I'm never getting stuck on you again Water fresh wipes. I interrupted. My, my work day is interrupted. Yeah, and I've got work each day of the week. I ain't retired like you lot. That's just what the old people don't understand. The old people don't understand that this is my living. This is my livelihood, and if I'm not doing this, I don't get paid. I need to be doing this as many hours as I can, earn as much as I can.
92%. And the trailer's coming back soon. Hmm. Oh, he's coming back. I'll be sending him on his merry way again in a second. Because he's going to get full.
Excellent. So that dude's finished. So we've done all the rolling. We're we doing on the contract. Not great. Because it's dividing the potatoes between both contracts. is not handy. Patreon. I can't believe and the dude's still not back yet. <laughs> Where is he? He's on his way. He's on his way. So he's on his way back to the field. Good. So we'll fill it we'll fill him up again now.
Like I say, in an ideal world, we'd want two trailers that could do want have one empty. One I can fill it, one going as the other one is coming back. But I don't appear to be that lucky, unfortunately. Don't appear to be that lucky. But he's gone. Well, off you go. He'll run off again. I will probably just be able to get this top part of the field done. We're going to get to the interesting bit in a minute. Am I going to be able to reposition the dude with the trailer? So he's actually going to be somewhere useful for me. When I'm, we're doing all that bit, that big bit there. Hmm. Is he going to be useful? I hope he is. Just wheat bix thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the stream. Here we 
go, 68%. Hmm. I don't think the trailer is going to be back in time. I'm not actually going to be able to complete this row, am I? Because I think... Um, I wonder if he got hit. Was he hit by a car there? Oh, you scumbag. I think somebody must have just hit him. One of the AI traffic. So it looks like I will be having to stop the stream in a little while. Freaking hell. I didn't put the rubbish out for the bin men. Full. <laughs> Have to wait for the truck. Here he comes. Is 
dude's gonna stop there, is he? Right, I'll unload this guy. I won't send the potatoes off for delivery. Um, I will be back later today to do some more of this. Right, let's head back this way. We'll, we'll set this guy up on the uh, GPS course. Just in case Mr. Helgi comes back after his lunch or whatever. Right, I'm going to save there quickly. Uh, thank you to everyone who's tuned into the stream. Sorry I've had to cut it short, but unfortunately, family are messing me about. And um, I will be back later this evening, after about 6pm time, probably. Um, so I look forward to seeing you hopefully all then. Cheerio for now, everybody.